Three weeks later, our protagonists had just finished lunch a few minutes ago. This time, they ordered food from a Chinese restaurant, the number of which they had jotted down during a dinner a few nights ago. I'm so full, Goku said as he reclined in his chair and rubbed his stomach. Ha ha ho, with everything you two eat. There's no doubt, Wiss replied, glancing at Mew who appeared tired, evident in her face as she wasn't as radiant as usual. Suddenly, the goddess stood up, her hand over her mouth, and dashed towards the house. Mrs. Mew, Wiss asked, raising an eyebrow as he watched the goddess leave. She's probably going to return the food again. I told her to eat less, but she's a glutton, Goku commented in response to the angel's concern. Goku, Goku, Kaosama? Goku asked when he heard the familiar voice. That's right, Goku. I wanted to inform you that Yamcha and the others have just arrived, so I'll be training them until they're revived. The northern Ko informed the Saiyan. Seriously, calling. That's great. Wait, and Piccolo? Goku inquired with curiosity. Piccolo arrived a week ago, but he was revived and sent to Namek. Apparently, not only was he revived, but Kamisama too. Haven't you noticed? Kaosama responded, reassuring the Saiyan and sowing doubt. I'm glad to hear that, but I hadn't realized that Kamisama had been revived, Goku said cheerfully, sporting a smile. By the way good luck with Mrs. Mew, goodbye. He bid farewell and cut off communication. Bip beep beep semicolon. It was the sound of a small device that Mew had brought, which was now ringing. Honey, this thing started to sound. Take it, Mew told Goku as she handed it to him before leaving to the house. The Saiyan caught the communication device. It's Bulma, he exclaimed in surprise as he pressed a button to answer. So, the famous Bulma, huh? She said as she approached him, smiling kindly. One moment, Mrs. Mew the calls are private. Also, accompany me inside the house to help you with your discomfort. He told the goddess of destruction as he took Mew inside. Away from the conversation. Don't wait, Wiss. I want to hear what they say. She screamed, kicking like a child. Hello, Goku said after accepting the call. Goku, I finally managed to communicate with Earth. Bulma shouted in relief to finally reach Goku. Bulma? Tell me what's happening. Have you arrived on Namek? Goku asked seriously, with a hint of anxiety. We arrived eight days ago, but I couldn't establish communication because the machine had been destroyed. But I finally managed to repair it. Bulma answered, now a little calmer. Eight days? He asked anxiously, waiting for Bulma's response. Yes. In addition, we were able to revive Piccolo, and we bring him here. We also asked to revive Kamisama, so the Dragon Balls on Earth should be usable again. She told him with great happiness. Great. Then I'll get ready to go there, Goku replied, both of them smiling. Hurry up, please. We have problems here. We even met Vegeta, and we've allied ourselves, because we have a common enemy, she said with a tone of concern that made Goku worry. Vegeta? I never thought he'd appear so soon. Tell me, are they allied with, who are they facing? Goku asked, his tone becoming serious. Right now Vegeta, Krillin, Piccolo, and some Namekians are facing someone named Frieza. Bulma exclaimed. Goku fell silent when he heard that name, and memories of a conversation he had with Mew weeks ago came flooding back. Give me that transmitter, darling, Mew said, her smile erased. Goku, Bulma shouted when she didn't hear the Saiyan's voice for a few minutes. Without hesitation, the Saiyan handed the communicator to his girlfriend. Tell me all about the current situation, Mew said as she gazed up at the sky in quiet contemplation. Who are you? Where did Goku go? Bulma shouted upon hearing the voice of the goddess of destruction. Amu sighed as she pinched her forehead with two fingers, trying to maintain her patience. No matter who I am, tell me what's happening, and we'll leave in a few minutes, Mew told her as she glanced at Wiss. What? Bulma screamed on the other side of the communicator. How long will it take us to get to Namek? Mew asked her teacher in the background. Um, about 42 minutes approximately, Wiss replied to the white-haired goddess, who nodded upon hearing it. Bulma, Take some time to calm down, and tell me the situation without omitting any details. Trust me. Please, Mew replied in a kind tone, which made the blue-haired woman take a deep breath, and stop fixating on who she was talking to. In fact, if she was speaking to Goku, it meant that there were no problems. Mew well um, Miss Goku's friend, a few days after we arrived, some soldiers called Zarbin and Dodoria began to appear, along with others who called themselves the Special Forces Ginyu. Luckily, Vegeta allied with us, and we managed to win, but many were injured. Unfortunately, three days ago Frieza arrived. Vegeta, Nail, and Piccolo faced him. But the villain transformed, and killed several Namekians, 
Although Vegeta, Piccolo, and Nail escaped, Bulma recounted with a tone of annoyance and frustration for not being able to do more to help. I understand, Mew replied in a tone of empathy. Calm down, Goku, and I will go there and put an end to that scum, she said, reassuring Bulma, who felt a sense of relief. She sensed that the girl was not lying to her. Mew then ended the communication to return the transmitter to Goku. So will you go with me to Namek? Goku asked, arching an eyebrow. Of course, do you want to arrive in a month and have your friends die? Of course not, she replied, smiling, and then turned to look at Whis, who was listening attentively. Are we leaving now? She asked the angel. As you ordered, Mrs. Mew Whis said as he checked the route to Namek on his staff. The goddess of destruction approached the angel and placed a hand on his shoulder before turning to look at Goku. Go ahead, darling, hold on to me, and we will leave immediately, she told him in a gentle tone. Goku was slightly surprised to hear that they would arrive in 42 minutes, but it didn't seem strange after spending a little more than a month with his girlfriend, Mew, and training with Whis. After a few seconds, he nodded and approached to place his hand on Mew's shoulder. Don't be so formal, darling, the goddess of destruction told her partner. She then took the hand that Goku had placed on her shoulder and moved it to her abdomen. The Saiyan, in response, used his other free hand to hug her. Is that better, Mew? He asked, smiling at her. Fu fu fu, much better. Whis, let's go, exclaimed the goddess, raising her voice slightly. The angel nodded, and the three of them set off toward Namek.